Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you another interesting attacking game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. At the time of this game Tal was 20 years old and he's playing against Georgian chess player Tengiz Georgadze. The game was played in 1956 in Tbilisi. Tbilisi is the capital city of Georgia. In this game Tal had white pieces and he opened up with d4 to which Georgadze answered with knight f6, c4 g6, knight c3 bishop g7, e4 d6. Black is going for the good old king's indian defense against which Tal is employing the Zemish variation, probably the most sharpest line which one can choose against king's indian defense. With this f3 white is forming a pawn chain, the pawn from f3 can support the advance of the g-pawn, in this line white is usually castling queenside and then is throwing all his anger at black king. Here black castled kingside, bishop e3, e5, standard move, d5 and c5. Not the strongest move, modern theory recommends c6 or knight h5, preparing f5. When instead we see c5 with which black is locking up the center and then it will be very hard to create a counterplay on the queen side. g4, in return white is meeting no obstacles on his way and is starting a kingside pawn storm. h5, black is trying to somehow stop this avalanche of pawns. h3, knight a6, queen d2 preparing castling, knight h7 and knight fg takes h5 then Queen h4 check followed by queen takes h5. That's why instead of capturing on h5, white castled queen side. And as already there is this g takes h5 threat, black played h4, trying to keep the king side as locked as possible. And there is no need to worry about the future of this pawn. Uh, at any moment, if you try to put pressure, then black can go for g5. But uh, here comes f5. Instead of coming after this, pawn Tal has a better idea and he's going for a breakthrough in the center of the board. Knight f3 and after rook e8, rook e1 followed, a6 and there it goes, everything is ready to go for e5. d takes e5, knight takes e5. After the exchange, white got a supported post pawn on the d file. Bishop d7, Bishop d3, gradually white is intensifying the pressure and there is nothing black can do. Rook f1, Rook f8, Knight e4, Bishop g7. Black army is retreating and meanwhile is suffering heavy losses. Knight takes c5. Right now the bishop is hanging, Bishop goes back on c8. And at this point we first see a prophylactic King b1 move. Although already at this point Stockfish suggests a move like knight takes f7 and then bishop takes g6. But what is interesting in this game Tal won't make any spectacular sacrifices and he will just smash everything on its way under his weight. Bishop h6 offering the exchange of dark squared bishops. And already yes knight takes g6 can be played but at this point knight takes f7 is stronger. Queen g5 trying to simplify the position, but anyways, knight takes f7 followed, which forced a resignation. Uh, well, yes, knight takes f7 is for engine's first choice, but what is interesting, Stockfish also suggests queen takes f8, which is also winning. And when instead we see knight takes f7, a quiet winning move, no need to go for deep calculations, and this is allowing white to win without much efforts. If rook takes f7 then rook takes e8 and if queen takes h6 then knight takes h6 check and then rook e7 followed by rook takes f8 yes this is a total destruction that's why after this quiet knight takes f7 move resignation fallout uh, well this is it dear chess lovers hope that you enjoyed this game and in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the mating line for black as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section feel free to check out my early uploads as well we'll see you in my next video take care